Alright guys, we are back in JavaScript, Objects 1, Building an Address Book. It's, it's like a pretty short uh, thing of what we're doing here, but uh, compared to the last section anyhow. So, copy the format. And sorry, right, so they have an object called Bob here. And we basically want to get Bob's last name and email. So, just call the object then the parameter we want and we'll go last name and then same thing here the object followed by the parameter and we want email and then when we save and submit we should get all three next up we still have our Bob object here we want to create an object called Mary uh, and Mary has the same parameters as Bob. So her first name is Mary. Her last name is Johnson. Her phone number is also a string. Make sure you use quotes for this. It's 650-888-888. And finally, her email is mary.johnson at example.com. And now we're going to create an array called contacts. So var contacts equals bracket. Put our semicolon at the end there. In here, put Bob as index one to Mary as index two. So we got Bob comma Mary. And then write a console log statement that prints out Mary's phone number. So console dot log, and then same as previous example, Mary dot phone number. And I believe that should be good to go. So there's her phone number. Cool. Alright, so we're going to define a function. If you forget how uh, to do it, it's pretty pretty simple, just like a variable, except we're setting out something on the function side. And these hints are always really good for the most part. It's very seldom that you have to look at what's going on here you can often they'll just give you some generic code and it's usually more syntax than anything else all right so this is going to take a parameter called person and in the function print out persons so we want to print out person dot first name console dot log person dot first name then print a space, then their last name. And that should be good. So we're going to do person dot last name. Call the print person function to print out the first. All right, so we want to call print person and in it, for a person parameter is going to be our contacts and we want the zero index to print. Then on the next line called print person again and take the second item out of the context array. So print person and ideally if we wanted to print all of this out we would probably use an array uh, or a for loop to run to iterate through the array. But see right there, we got Bob Space Jones and then Mary Johnson. So up next, we'll be creating a function that lists all the users. So all right, create another function. So var um, list equals function. This doesn't take any parameters currently. At the start of the function, define a variable store the number of items in the contacts array. 
find this variable to store the number of items. So let's var number. I'll call it contact contacts link. So var contacts length. And we'll set this equal to contacts.size. All the items in the array are numbered starting at zero. To cycle through all the elements, create a for loop. Alright, so we'll do a for var i equals zero because the index starts at i while i is less than contacts what uh, contacts length and then i plus plus and then in here we do some stuff so let's see here Inside the loop, add code to call print person. So we want to call print person here. And we want to do this for contacts on the whatever currently i is. At the very bottom of the file, call the list function. All right, so now we want to call list and see if we made any mistakes. It looks like the list function didn't console.log Bob Jones. Did you remember to call list creating it? Yes. Okay, so let me see if this is it. Alright, so contact.size is not a function. So why don't we just set this equal to 2 and see what if that does it better. So this looks like it iterates through it twice. It shouldn't do that though. It could just be, uh, for some reason, the IDE sometimes will run part of this. I'm not sure why, but I've seen it in other things. But let's maybe take a look at the hint. Array.length. Okay, so let's try this. That's that's what I was looking for, length. So we have contacts.length. And let's go ahead and submit that one more time. Oh, it's still the same thing. All right, so it seems to be working just fine. All right, create a function called search. So var search equals function. That takes a parameter called last name. So this is gonna take last name, leave the list function alone. So we're creating our search function. It takes in the parameter last name. We're not gonna mess with the list function. Like the last exercise to find a variable to store the number of items in the array, the array in it. Um, so we'll just call it var contacts dot length, or contacts length rather. And this is equal to um, contacts dot length. Uh, we have to, because this isn't a global variable, we can't just call contacts.length. So uh, just, this might be bad to name it the same thing, but since they're local variables, it doesn't matter. Typically. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So uh, create a for loop. For start at i for this one, var i equals zero. If i is less than contacts length. I plus plus. And then we want to printing out every item in the array and an if statement that checks if the last name property of the object is equal to the last name. Twist comes here. In the body of the loop, rather than printing out every single item in the array, add an if statement. All right, so if that says if last name is equal to contacts 
I dot last name. We wanted to do some stuff. So we're checking if the last name parameter is equal to the current array last name, current array value last name. You wanted to do some stuff. The, if that's the case, we want to call print person contacts i. At the bottom of the file, call the search function, passing in Jones as the last name. So in this case, we want to call search with the last name Jones, and we should get Bob Jones. So there you go, Bob Jones. Good to go. All right, so next, create a function called add. So let's go ahead and create a function here called uh, var add equals function uh, with the parameters. So this is going to take all the parameters, first name, last name, email, phone number, So we want to create a new object. In this function, you want to create a new object like Bob. So var, and we'll call this first name. Add this new object to the context array. So var, how do we want to name it? Let's see here. Do they give us a name? Let's just call it first name and see if it will actually supplement that in. So if our first name value is Dylan, it should come. Its its value should be Dylan still. So our first name equals uh, so we have first name colon first name last name colon last name email colon email and then we have phone number colon phone number actually uh, let's re I don't like doing this um, so let's rename this to uh, new contact and then we want to add this new contact to the contacts array. So we'll say contacts, contacts dot add, is it dot add? There is a way to add it. Where is it? An object can be added to the end of array. Okay, so that's what we want to do. So right here, we're going to call contacts and we're going to check the length. And the length is always going to be uh, one more than where we're at. And then we're going to say we're going to add this new contact to it. Basically, we're saying for our contacts array, at the length, length being one more than what, what it's at, which is perfect for our index value, we want to add our new contact. Perfect. And make sure you call the list function at the end. So let's go ahead and call. So we want to call our add function so we're going to add we'll add me so we'll add we'll do pizza first name poker guy last name we'll do pizza poker guy at email.com and then we'll do and obviously uh, you'd have to if you're trying to make a real address book you'd have to um, You'd have to make sure all these values were accurate and made sense. And but uh, for what we're doing here, I think we should be good. And then we just call list, and we should see everything here. And then you can see right there, pizza poker guy is added. So we just finished the building an address book. We're almost done with the JavaScript section. Um, up next, we're going to be doing more object-oriented programming. 
and we have about two sections left i'll see you guys in the next video and as always anything constructive is always appreciated see you next video